Aru from Nirma University presents Kartike, a cutting-edge quadcopter, engineered and manufactured for exceptional performance. With a thrust-to-weight ratio of 2.4 and a flight time of 34 minutes, Kartike is the perfect blend of power and efficiency. Crafted mostly out of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, our quadcopter is not only lightweight but also accommodates a winch mechanism and imaging system for object detection and payload delivery. I am Siddharth Mandalaya, currently pursuing my bachelor's in instrumentation and control engineering. I am the team captain and the CS operator. I am Aditya Gupta. I am in the pre-final year of my mechanical engineering. I am the vice captain and the design team. I am Raj Modi, currently in my second year of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I am the Autonomous Lead and the GCS Operator. I am Rushil Daruwala. I am in Mechanical Engineering third year. I will look after assembly and manufacturing of the frame. I am Jitin Vandara. I am in third year of my Electrical Engineering. I am the Safety Product and the Autonomous Subject. Myself, Devan Salati. I am in the pre-final year of Mechanical Engineering and I will be looking after Manufacturing and Assembly Department. I am Uttarsh Maishwari and I am currently pursuing my Bachelor's in Electronics and Communication Engineering. I am the Electronics Lead and will handle payload delivery. I am Priyanshi Shah, currently in second year of Mechanical Engineering. I am Design and Simulation Engineer in the field. My name is Altaraj Maishwari. I am pursuing the Bachelor's in Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering. My role is team as Systems and Machine Learning Engineer. We are excited to share our story and showcase our incredible work we do here at TIM. The competition requires us to airdrop five different payloads which must be able to land at a predetermined location while flying above the minimum altitude of 75 feet and achieving a drop accuracy of 30 feet. Also, a safe drop mechanism is to be developed that makes retrieval of payload possible without any tool. The airframe must be structurally sound and exhibit exceptional stability. The requirements set for the propulsion system further add on to the airframe. The minimum endurance of 30 minutes and range of 12 miles was inferred by the team from the competition requirements. Furthermore, our UAS requires a thrust to weight ratio of at least 2.2 with a minimum speed of 9 meters per second. Our quadcopter is equipped with T motor, anti gravity 801400 kV motor, flame 80 ampere high voltage ESC, and a 30 cross 10 inch ultra lightweight carbon fiber propeller powered by 23,000 mAh 12 S2P LiPo battery. With a total length of 1.4 meters and a height above ground of 0.5 meters, our drone is engineered to provide unmatched stability and precision during flight. The airframe is meticulously crafted using 3x3 twill weave 240 GSM carbon fiber reinforced plastic along with polycarbonate material that offers clear visibility to the internal components and remarkable impact resistance. Our imaging system includes a 3-axis gimbal with a 14-megapixel camera, autofocus capabilities and 10x optical zoom for better object detection and identification. It has a resolution of 0.062 cm per pixel in both horizontal and vertical directions at maximum zoom. The algorithm used to detect the objects on the field is YOLO V5, which was optimized to run efficiently on Jetson NX companion computer. The video feed from the camera is passed to Jetson, where an algorithm is run to slice images into multiple smaller images, which are further passed to YOLO, which will be used to detect the object in the frames. After running iterative tests, a threshold was decided which would identify the probability of the object in the sliced images. After generating the probability of individual images, an algorithm was developed which considered the probability scores of multiple sliced images and detected the object in the main image. After the successful detection of the object, the companion computer takes command of the autopilot and the UAV navigates towards the object detected for payload delivery. For the airdrop, we were required to drop a bottle weighing 16.9 ounces into a circle with a 15 feet radius. We have decided to use a winch drop system for delivering the payload because in addition to the fact that it weighs less, it also offers exceptional precision and accuracy. The winch mechanism uses a servo motor and a 12 gram 600 rpm DC geared motor which works in tandem to deliver the payload to the specified drop location. We have used resistive braking to control the speed of the descent 
and drop the payload safely to the ground. Due to the bad EMF created by it, by using that EMF to make current flow across connected time of 17 seconds from a height of 85 feet. We constructed the winch from 3D printed PEDG which provides excellent fatigue resistance and reliability. Here link is used as the primary communication link between the UAV and GCS. It is used for RC control, telemetry and the internet link all operating at 2.4 GHz frequency. Here link air module is connected with Jetson NX via Ethernet. RC will be used to send signals to control the quadcopter in case of manual takeover. The telemetry link would be connected to Mission Planner for monitoring the UAV and the Wi-Fi link would be used to control the Jetson NX and to transfer images. The range specified by the manufacturer for the FCC variant of Hearlink is 20 km and we have successfully tested it for 5 km. Each component of the drone has been diligently designed in accordance with the machine design principles while simultaneously ensuring optimal performance within the given flying conditions and also maintaining the overall strength of the quadcopter. The CAD modeling process was carried out using Fusion 360 and SOLIDWORKS for the precise design and assembly of the airframe. All components were fabricated in-house using the machining and 3D printing centers provided by a university, resulting in significant cost cutting throughout the entire process of designing and fabrication. Our team also conducted extensive research and analyzed tested data available on the internet to ensure that the power plant selected was up to the mark for the SUAS-23 competition. The propulsion system and batteries were chosen to achieve the required range. Due to their prior experience, the team has opted to utilize the Pix Hawk Cube Orange as flight controller and the Arducopter as the primary autopilot. The flight controller has inbuilt support for many sensors such as gyroscope, barometer, magnetometer and accelerometer whilst having the support of redundancy sensors. The GCS used is Mission Planner which has built-in support for Python scripting and has been modified according to the team's needs. It is efficient in changing the waypoints, monitoring flight controller parameters and other onboard systems. It is used to give manual inputs as per the requirement. For the task related to dynamic and varied obstacles, we functioned under a computational constraint of the companion computer, which is sanctioned for encrypted data transfers, object detection and identification for payload delivery and dynamic avoidance. The task is performed in two steps, object detection and a proximal policy optimization approach to decide the best course of action. For object detection, we first estimate the background motion between two sequential frames. From the resulting background subtracted image, we detect the moving objects by pruning spurious noise. Among detected objects, we differentiate UAVs from false alarms using spatio-temporal characteristics and track them for temporal consistency. The second step tests PPO on a grid-based setting where the agent is rewarded whenever a collision-free grid is chosen. The team also simulated the algorithm on various SITL platforms which functioned on a polynomial trajectory generator mimicking a real-time UAV. The algorithm is scaled for the companion computer where multiple Arducam cameras can be connected with a synchronous multi-camera shield, ensuring a near-complete spatial awareness. The algorithm in its entirety is novel and superior to its related literature. Design alternatives included octocopter and hexacopter, but they were rejected due to the high endurance required in the mission, which seemed impractical due to the increased weight of the mentioned designs. The team favored a quadcopter over VTOL due to the team's experience with multi-rotor design. MF series and other polymer propellers were considered, which although cost-efficient, contradicted the lightweight and efficiency offered by the NS Ultralight series. Initially, U12 100 kV motors were considered, but rejected due to its weight, greater current draw, more battery consumption and lower endurance. The mentioned motors were also rejected due to them not meeting with the mission requirements. Battery placement alternatives included attaching it to the landing gear but was struck off 
as it would cause an inverse pendulum effect on the aircraft, making it swing mid-air and affecting its stability. Parachute was considered for payload delivery mechanism but rejected for its lack of accuracy, precision and safe delivery of the payload. The winch mechanism's failure is subjected to erratic motor behavior or mechanical failure, both of which could result in loss of stability due to inverse pendulum effect and even pose danger to ground personnel. To counter this, the team made sure the winch design could easily sustain higher weight than necessary for longer durations and validated it with proper testing procedures. A propulsion system failure which could potentially affect the working of motor, ESC and LiPo battery would result in complete loss of UAV control. To mitigate these issues, the team ensured proper testing of all the propulsion system equipment that were to be loaded on the UAV by correctly plotting thrust, temperature, current draw and magnetic interference during static as well as dynamic testing. Weather and other factors such as strong wind gusts, rain and autopilot failure could potentially harm the UAV stability in the air and pose danger to the ground personnel. To make this issue less severe, the team deployed a safety pilot on standby at all times, made constant weather checks and ensured proper mounting before each flight. Improper resource management in the team could result in insufficient testing and low reliability of the UAV. Proper scheduling and work distribution as well as rigorous testing of all equipment on UAV's present resources was done to save time for testing with the new hardware. The video feed is obtained at a rate of 20 FPS, which was decided after software and hardware simulation. The rate was decided such that it is convenient for the UAV to detect the object while cruising and also that recurring images do not overload the companion computer and affect the UAV. The computationally complex detection model was scaled down to meet the computational constraint of the jets, whilst also getting improvised to work efficiently with minimum delay. The YOLO VFI algorithm employed has been trained on the custom dataset, which has been augmented on multiple parameters, such as size, placement of the object, brightness and contrast of the image. With every consequent mission test, the dataset was improvised and the model was iteratively trained on new images and parameters were changed to improve the accuracy of detection and efficiency of ODLC performance. Custom weights and CNN algorithms were used to fine-tune the model to detect very minute objects as well as to distinguish humans present on the ground from the objects. The images from the feed are sliced into smaller images to increase the algorithm's competence and detection capabilities. We attempted a total of 73 highly supervised drops as part of our airdrop performance testing. The tests were performed to ensure optimal payload drop including servo motor testing, winch testing and payload thread sustenance. Servo motor on testing worked perfectly and the entire winch testing yielded impressive results, unspooling completely to the optimum height so as to not damage the payload in the releasing process whilst maintaining target accuracy. The nylon thread strength was rigorously tested by suspending it with a 1 kg weight for nearly 2 hours to ensure its load-bearing capacity. It successfully retained its strength and stability, making it an inexpensive and efficient choice. The complications that we faced during winch testing included the actuation of the servo motor, which was restricted by weight of the payload. The design was modified after initial testing so that the pulley does not get stuck and successfully actuated. We used a 2.4 GHz communication frequency with the tested communication range being greater than 5 km. The throughput is limited to 4.5 Mbps for smooth, noiseless HD video streaming whilst ensuring that none of the links are interrupted. This solution works due to minimum latency, especially in the Wi-Fi link where the HD video is obtained in complete timely precision without exhibiting any lag and without affecting the other two links. All three links have the functionality of auto-reconnection in the face of communication loss, which is a testament to our communication system's multifaceted operational efficacy. Our aircraft is entirely compliant with all of the flight performance requirements of the competition. The optimal flight speed based on the distance-wise requirements is in the range of 10 to 15 meters per second to allow the aircraft 
to complete the task of waypoint navigation and payload delivery timely and proficiently. Rigorous testing was employed on the aircraft, which included a speed test, wherein the aircraft's overall efficiency and time consumption was checked at different cruising speeds. Stability test, wherein the fully mounted aircraft was flown through windy weather conditions whilst carrying out detection and drop testing, wherein the aircraft's target detection and drop precision were mutually evaluated. The propulsion system was tested by pushing the motors to their limit and tracking their temperature and overall thrust performance. This further verified the power distribution board's effectiveness at maximum throttle. The aircraft spectacularly succeeded in meeting the test requirements and displayed reliability and readiness. Ardocopter is used as the autopilot as it is highly customizable and the team is the most experienced with it. The GCS used is Mission Planner because of its extensive features for tuning, logs analysis and user-friendly interface. Multiple autonomous flights were conducted to test the autopilot's performance in terms of waypoints attempted and hit and average waypoint miss error, which yielded successful results. Obstacle avoidance for the aircraft has been repeatedly tested in the simulation mode for multiple obstacles, both static and dynamic, with respect to the aircraft, wherein the performance has been smooth and efficient but it has not yet been tested on the aircraft in the actual real surroundings due to higher risks and potential danger. Mission testing points were awarded in a two-part approach. The first part included the aircraft covering the required distance just above the target point, and the second part included the entire payload delivery process. This bifurcation of mission testing was extremely helpful in providing clarity and identification at any stage which might yield issues any with the aircraft for future modification reference. The scores for the full mission test show the aircraft's sound capabilities in completing the mission successfully and are a testament to its impressive performance. We have taken six full system flights in total whilst maintaining personnel safety as our highest priority. Safety and emergency readiness were exercised at every step of the way during all our mission tests. Although we encountered issues such as human error, we persevered through it by creating a safety checklist to verify whether all protective measures were taken during every flight. We ensured that no lapses occurred on the team's part and the UAV's performance was testament to the fact that it is reliable and competition ready. All the flight tests that we conducted, our smooth takeoff, proper waypoint navigation, and accurate drop marked our full mission tests. 